Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl. Today, we're gonna make some freaking meatloaf, but guess what, with Pers uh, Persian um, influence. My friend, uh, he's uh, Iranian. He actually taught me uh, some cool stuff before when I used to do culinary training. And what I wanted to do is kind of make some American Persian fusion, uh, kind of make a meatloaf with some cool stuff on it. Um, that we're not really used to. Uh, some things that they put in their kufta kebabs uh, and all of that stuff. And we're going to actually put it on a giant kufta, which is going to be a giant meatball, which is going to be a giant freaking uh, <laughs> meatloaf. I'm probably going to make it into two meatloaves. So we're going to see how the heck this thing works out. But again, this is really healthy. We're going to put it over yellow rice. I know some people like to do... Uh, the Persians, they're really cool. They have uh, this... Uh, uh, levels of flavors they believe in and what they do is they usually use saffron to make red rice so they put that on top of green rice which is with spinach and then yellow rice with it which is with turmeric so they have these nice colors and then you lay it on there with you know you could uh, stir fry some uh, almonds and stuff like that but we're not going to do that we're going to just uh, stick to simple yellow rice and meatloaf persian influence right there let's get right to it Okay, so here are the ingredients. Two packs, I like to use Angus, 85% lean, 15% fat, but I know some people like to use very fattening uh, beef on theirs, but I like to always use this. I think the Angus beef gives it a real kick, uh, rich flavor. We're going to use also turmeric, okay? We need uh, turmeric, we need curry, okay? We need onions, <laughs> we need uh, potatoes, about one potato, one onion. I'm going to probably use two potatoes just to, uh, for because I'm using two batches and they're small, but depends how big the potato is. If it's this tiny, use two. Coriander, and also get yourself something to grade this baby in because we're going to grade the pota potato in and the onions. And some beautiful breadcrumbs we're going to need, definitely. Uh, this is optional, of course, but it would be good to use them if you want to make more and get it to be a little bit more bulky. I love putting breadcrumbs in this baby. So now I finally chopped this, went over, over, and over again, the cilantro, okay? So now we're going to put it in the meat. So right now it's right in the meat. Now we're not going to smash them all together till we're ready, okay? So let's get right uh, in. Okay, guys, so I took an entire onion, one onion, giant one, grated the living, you know, daylights out of it. Uh, now grating is way better than cutting, mincing, and all that, or even putting it in the processor. Now for kebabs, usually what you do is you have to drain it, but we want to get moisture so as much as moisture as possible the better it is for the meatloaf you don't want the meatloaf to be dry so you want it to be with moisture so we're going to put this baby into the pot give i mean into the so right here this is how it looks in the meat again we're not mixing it now we got to grate the potatoes so i'm going to use probably about two uh, maybe two or three potatoes in this we're going to grate it up and then this is why it's so optional to put um breadcrumbs in this you might not have to i just like i'm gonna kick it up a little more because i want to make two meatloafs out of it so let's get right into it so right here three potato <clears throat> so right here three potatoes so remember to peel your potatoes then afterwards you're gonna grade them so this is three little potatoes right here if you have big potatoes just do one or two at most and you could see right here so this is gonna uh, again i'm not gonna strain it uh, you want your meatloaf to be nice and juicy so we're gonna go right into it and put it inside give me one second and right here, we got everything together. Now we're going to put in the spices. Uh, actually, no, almost forgot. Now we're going to put in a little bit of breadcrumbs, okay? So we're just going to spill some breadcrumbs, not too much, because we already have a crap ton of potato in here. So just just a little like that. That's it, very little. And now that's, uh, we're going to smash it all in after we put our curry. Now this is up to taste. So I put about a cap of curry, and I'm going to put about maybe five pinches of turmeric in this baby okay so let's get right into it okay okay guys so now you could see so a cap 
full of, uh, again, this is up to taste. I put in a big, big cap, a heaping cap of uh, curry in there. A little bit, uh, about six pinches of turmeric. Uh, I think I went even to 10 pinches of turmeric just to put it in there. So 10 pinches of turmeric. And now we're going to smash this baby all together into one big globby mess. <laughs> okay, so be back in a few. Now, guys, you don't have to do this, but I put three tablespoons, uh, well, yeah, about tea, uh, teaspoons about of uh, chopped garlic uh, in it. Now, this is also optional. You could put in uh, tomatoes, uh, tomato juice. I'm not going to do that. I don't really, I'm not down with that. Uh, but uh, I know a lot of my Persian friends actually do put tomato juice in stuff. But again, we're doing meatloaf, Persian influence fusion. So I'm going to be combining what I like and what I don't like. So I'm going to put garlic in it. And now we're going to smash it all together. So guys, here's my globby mess. As you guys can see, looks really cool. Everything's smashed up. Uh, to bits <laughs> you could see oh the aroma is just so freaking fragrant it's so amazing look at it looks good enough to eat already shout out to my favorite one of my favorite channels i used to follow i still do from time to time barbecue pit boys love that love that channel <laughs> but uh anyways uh so look how good that th this thing looks right now oh if, I, I wish you guys could smell this thing how good the, how good it smells right off the bat now we're gonna just do two globby blobs just to make uh two meatloafs okay and i'm gonna show you how i how i you know shape them or whatever like how it looks and i put them in there and then i'm going to tell you what to do afterwards the glaze is going to be extremely freaking easy uh it's unbelievably easy so let's get right to it so guys the first thing you want to do is you want to kind of coat it with olive oil just very lightly and just polish it with a brush or in my case in my case because i'm a lazy bum uh <laughs> with uh with a paper towel and now we're gonna lay it on so give me a second so guys, check this out. Booyah! So it looks really good right here. Like I said, get enough to eat already. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cover it with aluminum foil. We're going to stick that baby in about 450 degrees for 45 minutes. And then we're going to remove the foil. Put the glaze that I'm going to show you what glaze we're going to use. and you can, It's something so, so hard to make. Um, it is, uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to make it. It's, it's amazing. It's a secret family recipe. You probably never, you know, never even heard of this combination ever before. This amazing uh, combination uh, that's, uh, you know, this with this, you know. So it's going to be like the most amazing sauce glaze that you've ever freaking seen. So we're going to put this baby 45 minutes in the oven. Then we're going to remove the foil. Put the glaze on, stick it back without the foil for about 20 minutes, and boom, we should have uh, something uh, nice going on. So give me one second here. This is how my oven looks like. So 45. Uh, so for, uh, for for this, I'm gonna let it preheat for about 10 minutes before I put this baby in there. Okay, so watch how fast this thing it takes. It doesn't take that long, and in the meantime, I could start already making uh, the rice. Okay guys, so this is what you do with the rice. You basically put rice in as much as you want. You guys know how to cook rice, I hope. If not, there's uh, tutorials all over YouTube about it. Then you put oil in there, about a cap full I put of olive oil. Then you're going to put turmeric. You don't want to put too much because then it's going to kill the flavor. Just about maybe a teaspoon uh, to a, a heaping teaspoon of it, I would say. Even a tablespoon would be fine. And then you just put that sucker in there while it's still raw the rice is raw you're not cooking it yet now we're gonna mix this bad boy up to give it a yellow color you can see already it's getting that yellowness kind of looks like uh, I'm gonna get all the clumps out too but you want to make sure that you put that it comes out like kind of this oily yellowish thing Looks pretty good, gotta say that. Obviously it's not gonna color the rice yet till it cooks, but you wanna get the water to be nice and yellow. And now we are ready, are ready to ready to go, <laughs> are ready to go. Now I'm using an Instapot, so you guys could use whatever the heck you guys uh, want, but you see uh, the Instapot has a rice setting, it's very easy. You set it and forget it. But uh, now let's go right into it. 
Okay, guys, so this is ready. This one opened because I didn't, you know, really pat it down, but that was my mistake. This one is perfect. Now we're going to use the secret sauce I told you about that's so freaking hard to do. I don't know if any of you guys could do it. I'm kind of like, uh, maybe I'm, uh, I made things a little bit too hard. Uh, it's called ketchup. <laughs> okay, that's the glaze right here. Easy, easy glaze. Now the vinegar on it, once it cooks down, is going to be so freaking cool. Uh, so you could do it like this. I'm going to now smother the crap out of it uh, with a spoon. Where is it? Here we go. Okay, so we're just going to, uh, just going to, uh, and trust me, it's going to look way better when it's done. I like to have it look like a, a mess. Some people, you know, you could take a brush and make it look really nice and, you know, really make it look so yummy and good but here we go see so this is already uh, not cooked yet so we're gonna put it in remember 450 45 minutes right then you pull it out put the glaze or hard gla hard to do glaze ketchup <laughs> and uh, put it now open you know because you're removing the foil now and put it right back into the oven give me one second so we'll come back once it's done Okay, so I turned the light on on this. So here we go. It's not white here, believe me. It's not. It just looks like it because the light's on it. But this is all yellow rice, as you can see. All yellow rice. And it came out really, really nice. Really fluffy. You could see. Really, really fluffy. Everything is good. This is basmati rice. You could use jasmine. You could use whatever you want. I like basmati. Uh, and it's really cool. I mean, you could see it from here. I think yellow comes out now more accurate uh, from here. <laughs> but it, it's actually more golden than it looks through the camera because I'm looking at it through the camera. It looks like light yellow. This is actually really dark yellow. It looks really good. Now, again, like I told you, what the Persians used to do is they used to put saffron rice also cooked. And then they put uh, – first they put this in the bottom. They put um, – I think spinach with the rice uh, and it would make it green and they would put that in the middle and then saffron rice uh, red right on top but we're gonna just do it this way we're gonna go nice and simple again Persian inspired meatloaf <laughs> American Persian fusion uh, you know with the yellow rice here really really cool so we're gonna uh, see how our meatloaf looks like right now okay guys so the meatloaf is done uh, you drain it afterwards. There's still a little bit of sauce left in there, you know, juices left in there. Uh, you're going to give it some time, uh, I would say about maybe 10 minutes, uh, to, I, I would say even 20 minutes probably, 15 minutes to 20 minutes to kind of cool off before you start cutting away. Uh, but as you can see, it looks really, really good. I mean, even if you want, you could put it even another 5 minutes in the oven just for the kicks. Maybe another even 10 minutes if you want. But this is really looking good right here. So see you when uh, we're going to plate this, baby. I'm going to cut it for you all. I'm going to show you guys how it looks on the inside and everything. Okay, guys. Here's the cut. Cut it in half. And look at this. Look at this. I mean, there's potato in this, baby. There's parsley aka coriander there's all kinds of good stuff there's minced well minced uh, more like grated onion in there as well uh you know just amazing now we're gonna cut it from here i like to always cut it in the middle and then make slices uh so you know people get nice portions instead of like the small side uh ones right there and you could see look at the juices right here i'm just gonna look at that look at that juice very moist very very juicy we're gonna take a taste here from the sides and you could just see this here mmm oh my goodness guys I could not describe the taste how good this is I could not tell you I mean it's freaking bliss <laughs> it's food bliss give it a try I'm gonna show you now how it looks with the yellow rice on top oh man this is oh oh it's like you don't want it you don't want to swallow it it's so damn good oh man so we're gonna slice it up i'm gonna put it on a plate i'm gonna show you guys how it is all together with this beautiful yellow rice that i got you know on warm here keeping it warm uh you know ready to eat 
Oh man, this is just so damn good. Oh, oh man, I think I'm gonna eat this all myself. Anyways, uh, give me a sec. Okay guys, and there it is, right on the yellow rice. Look how beautiful this looks. Unfreaking believable. This is American Persian fusion. Okay, right here, looking really good. Oh man, I can't describe the taste. I, I hope you guys try this and comment down below. Again, if you guys like what you see, do like this video, subscribe and hit that bell button as from time to time I do come out with some great mouth-watering recipes that are easy to make. Uh, really quick, of course. And, uh, you know, wow, this is so freaking amazing. Like I'm telling you, I don't even want to swallow. I, I like to chew it for a long time because it's so damn good. So definitely try it. And if you do, definitely comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, definitely looking forward to hearing what you guys say. And uh, as always, uh, make the community grow. We do everything here. So, you know, uh, share this with everybody, anybody you know. Uh, we do video games, technology, cooking, everything. Uh, how to build videos, uh, you know, helmets, every, every little thing, we do it. So, you know, definitely join the community. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video. Video, subscribing and hitting that bell button as many more cool videos to come definitely want you guys in it and I want to want you guys to be vocal definitely comment down below I want to hear what you guys have to say have a good one y'all take care bye